Questions are regarding the autumn season coming up. Yeah. Series coming up. How do you think England will perform? Uh, how do I think England are going to perform? Jeez, nobody knows. It's the million dollar question, isn't it? I really hope that you know, we come out and, and test ourselves. You know, there's no bigger test. Obviously, South Africa first up, New Zealand as well in that four, top, you know, the, the big four. So I've got my fingers crossed. I'm patriotic. I always think we'll do well, but uh, it can't be any worse than the Six Nations. Yeah. So do you think we need to worry about New Zealand then? Oh, do we need to worry about New Zealand? Definitely. I mean, I think they're, you know, they're the number one team in the world for a reason. You've seen what they've just done to uh, Australia in the championship. Uh, they just get better and better. And I think as a marker, um, they're great. And I, I think everybody's got one eye on that uh, wonderful Web Ellis Trophy in Japan. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it's all building and it's going to be good. So, yeah, we do need to worry about them. Yeah. And which players would you think are the ones to watch out for? Oh, which players? In the England squad or in the world at the moment or...? Um, well, in the world. In the world. Bowden Barrett for me, um, you know, again with New Zealand, you think that they're a one-trick pony, yeah. um, you know, they lose Dan Carter, they then produce Bowden Barrett and he scores four tries and sets a, a record and you, you don't think Carter can be eclipsed. <laughs> so I'd say definitely watch out for him. And then for me, Israel Folau, the Australian uh, fullback, and you know, he can play 13 fullback. An international guy playing in so many positions um, is fantastic. And then I've got to go with a front rower. Um, and I think this year, uh, Mako Vonopola is going to come into his own. So watch out for him. So when you were playing, did you have a match day routine? <laughs> oh, many years ago. <laughs> yes, I'd always have my morning porridge. Yeah. Um, I'd always um, sort of say a little prayer, do a little bit of visualisation. Um, and then I would uh, just run out and just try and take in the crowd um, before concentrating on what you've got to do. Nice. Um, and what do you miss most about being on pitch? Oh, crikey. Um, I don't miss waking up like I've been in a car crash. Um, <laughs> I mean, look at me, I was six foot when I started this silly game. <laughs> um, but no, I think I miss the boys, the camaraderie, yeah. the, the testing yourself uh, every weekend and, and knowing that win or lose, you've got to get better every week. And I do miss that. Yeah, nice. Um, so the next two questions are about Nordoff music. Yes. Yeah. So has music been an inspiration to you? Yes, I think so. Uh, music, uh, for me, early on, my mum um, was the, the rock and roller in the family. Um, I remember sort of, you know, her dancing around the house. We're quite eclectic in our house. We had heavy metal, but we also had prints. Oh. And that's how she did her home, uh, you know, her housework. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, massive influence on me as a kid growing up. And I'm still a, a bit of a rocker at heart with the Chili Peppers and, and uh, the Kings of Leon were the last guys I saw live. So, yeah, yeah it's in there somewhere. Yeah. So has music played a, a big part in your rugby career? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, now with the science coming out and, you know, you're getting me a bit nerdy here, but um, visualisation and stuff like that is how you prepared. And at the time, we just used to listen to music with our headphones on and think we were actually nodding along. But I think inside, we were probably going through the game so I think it has a massive impact it can improve your mood um, so we used to listen to it in the gym used to listen to it before the game after the game as a celebration so I think music can really alter and change moods and I think it's very powerful which is why when you see the uh, what it does for the kids in the Nordoff Robbins charity and you realize the impact it has on those it's pretty special yeah. 